Well, students, today we will learn mathematic part two, standard ten. Practice at five point two. Page number one twenty one. First problem: angle of inclination forty five degree. We have to find slope. Write this formula. So I read the formula. Okay. Now let's do second problem. Okay, you should know this table. Then only you can solve first first problem. Now let's do second problem. So theta is given sixty degree. Take tan sixty. Tan sixty is root three. Okay. Now let this much. Now let's do for third problem. Okay. So put the value here. It is equal to tan ninety, but tan ninety is not defined. Okay. Next we do second problem. Second problem: slope of x-axis zero, slope of line parallel to x-axis is also zero. Slope of y-axis not defined. Slope of line parallel to y-axis not defined. Theta is given. This is the formula. Points are given. This is the formula. That we will use it here. Okay. Okay. Slope of line AB. Write this formula. Take it as x one y one, x two y two, seven minus three, four minus two, four upon two, two. Okay. Next we we'll do second problem. Okay, second problem. Take it as x one y one, x two y two. This minus this minus two minus three. This minus this, five minus of minus three. That will become minus three upon five plus three. So minus three upon eight. Okay. So that is the slope. Next we we'll do third problem. Okay, third problem. Y two minus y one. So three minus of minus two. Seven minus five. Three plus two. Upon two, five by two. Okay. Next we'll do fourth one. So in fourth problem, same thing. Minus eight minus of minus three. Minus six minus of minus. Three. So that will become minus eight plus three. Minus six plus two. That will become minus five upon. Minus four, minus minus cut. So therefore, m is equal to five upon four. Okay. Next, we do fifth problem. Okay. So it's fifth problem, same thing. Three minus of minus two. Six minus of minus. Three plus two. Six plus four. Five upon ten. Can't really. It is one upon. Two. Therefore, m is equal to one by two. Okay. Now let's do sixth problem. So is it four minus of minus three? Zero minus zero, seven upon zero. That is equal to not defined. Okay. Okay. Next we'll do third problem. Okay, third. Okay, first problem. First, let us calculate slope of AB. Okay. Formula y two minus y one, x two minus x one. Okay. Let us write A and B here. A, B. 
a is minus 1 and minus 1 b is 0 and 1 ok. So, we have to subtract this 1 minus of minus 1 0 minus of minus 1 we have 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 that is 2 upon 1 that is 2 ok. Now, let us calculate a and b is over now let us calculate b and c ok. We calculate b and c here b is 0 and 1 and it is 1 and 3 ok. Ok, so that will become 3 minus 1 1 minus 0 2 upon 1 that is 2. Therefore, slope of a b is equal to slope of b c. Therefore, point B is common to both lines. Therefore, A comma B comma C are collinear points. Okay. Next for the second problem. Take a second problem. Calculate slope of D. Okay. So, we got 0 minus of minus 3, 1 minus of minus 2, that will become 0 plus 3 upon 1 plus 2, that will become 3 upon 3, that is equal to 1. Calculate the end of slope of line E and F is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x2. 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 and, and 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 upon 1 that is equal to 1 both are same the full slope of E F D is equal to slope of yeah, okay. Okay. So slope of D is equal to slope of A F. Therefore, point D lies on both lines. Point D F are collinear points. Next, we do third problem. Okay, third problem. Subtracted. Okay, why two? For this, this is the point. For get this point. Okay, for get this point. Three minus five. Okay. 3 minus 2 that will go minus 2 upon 1 so that is minus 2 I forgot this point for m and m 1 minus 3 5 minus 3 minus 2 upon 2 that is minus 1 they are not equal ok so slope of l m is not equal to slope of m m therefore Point L M N are not collinear. Okay. I hope you got this. Next we do fourth problem. Okay, fourth problem. Okay. So we will forget this part and we'll take this. This minus this minus three minus of minus one. 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 3 plus 5 upon minus 1 that is equal to 2 upon minus 1 that is minus 2 ok let us calculate now calculate for q and r don't see this, see this. 3 minus of minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 3 plus 3 upon minus 3 6 upon minus 3 cut it that is minus 2 both are coming equal therefore slope of 
PQ is equal to slope of QR. Okay, then write this part slope of PQ is equal to slope of QR, but point Q. So, in fifth problem, you have to calculate for the RS. Okay. Y2. So, 2 minus sub minus 4. X2 minus X1. Minus 2 minus 1. That will become 2 plus 4 upon minus 3. So, that will become 6 upon minus 3. That is minus 2. Okay. Now, calculate for H and T. So, for H and T, this 4 minus 2 minus 3 minus sub minus 2 that will become 2 upon minus 3 plus 2 that will become 2 upon minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 ok both are coming same means they are collinear ok slope of rs is equal to slope of st therefore ok then write this point s is common to both lines therefore r s t are collinear point ok next we do fifth sorry sixth one we can check problem first we calculate for rave ok ok so you have to just subtract this y2 minus y1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 that will become 5 by 2 minus 4 minus 2 plus 4 okay so that will become 5 by 2 minus 4 upon 2 now take this 2 here okay cross multiply 5 minus 8 upon 2 and this 2 will come here so it will become 2 okay that will become minus 3 upon 4 okay now let's calculate for that okay this side is solve it I subtract the it will become minus two minus five bit four minus sub minus two minus two minus five by two four plus two that will become minus two minus five by two upon six this two will go here minus four upon minus five upon this two is here and into six coming down it will become six minus nine upon twelve both will go on three table okay four and three so that will become minus three upon four both are equal therefore slope of a k is equal to slope of k therefore point k is common to both line therefore a k in r collinear points okay next we'll do fourth problem 